buried in the desolate caves of Qumran, rolled in fragile parchment and sealed for nearly two millennia, they were never meant to be found. The Dead Sea Scrolls, hundreds of ancient manuscripts written in languages few can still read, speak of prophecy, war, and a vanished people. Discovered by accident in 1947, these texts instantly became one of the greatest archaeological mysteries of the 20th century. But who wrote them? And why were they hidden away in such a remote and hostile place? Since their discovery, the scrolls have sparked endless debates among scholars, theologians, and conspiracy theorists. Some believe they were penned by an obscure Jewish sect known as the Essenes. Others claim they were the lost writings of early Christians, or even fragments of a forgotten civilization. But for decades, the truth remained elusive, buried beneath layers of history, myth, and silence. Now, cutting-edge ancient DNA technology has cracked open the tomb of time. For the first time, science is peeling back the parchment to expose the hidden fingerprints of the past. What they've found is far more shocking than anyone expected. And it might rewrite everything we thought we knew about the Bible, the origins of Judaism, and the secrets of the desert. Could the genetic code of these scrolls finally reveal who wrote them? And why? The story begins in the Judean desert, a place so dry and lifeless it seems frozen in time. In 1947, a Bedouin shepherd searching for a lost goat stumbled upon a cave near the ruins of Qumran, just off the northwest shore of the Dead Sea. Inside, he found clay jars, sealed and undisturbed. Within them, scrolls wrapped in linen, their ink still faintly visible. What followed was an archaeological gold rush. Over the next decade, more than 900 manuscripts were unearthed from 11 different caves. Some were nearly complete texts, others mere fragments, all of them dated between the 3rd century BCE and the 1st century CE. Together, they form the oldest known copies of the Hebrew Bible, along with apocalyptic visions, sectarian rules, and unknown writings. These scrolls didn't just echo scripture, they rewrote it. They revealed alternate versions of biblical books, introduced mysterious figures like the Teacher of Righteousness, and described a spiritual war between the sons of light and the sons of darkness. But the identity of their authors? Still a riddle. Some scholars pointed to the Essens, a monastic sect known for strict purity laws and desert life. Others suggested Pharisees, Sadducees, or even early Christians fleeing Roman persecution. With no names, no signatures, and no clear ownership, the mystery grew deeper with every discovery. The question remained, who were these people, and what drove them to hide their sacred texts in caves, as if guarding secrets the world was never meant to see? For decades, archaeologists and scholars had only fragments to work with, literal and metaphorical. The scrolls were written on parchment and papyrus, materials vulnerable to decay, torn apart by time, humidity, and even insects. Most of the recovered texts were brittle, broken, and scattered across multiple caves. Scholars tried matching fragments like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle, often relying on handwriting analysis, linguistic style, and paleography. But there was one problem. They didn't know if the fragments found in different caves came from the same scrolls or even the same communities. The ancient world had no titles, page numbers, or watermarks. Every scroll was anonymous. Then, a single fragment changed everything. In a lesser-known cave, researchers uncovered a scroll with unusual writing, different ink density, unfamiliar phrasing, and a rare form of script. It didn't match anything found in Qumran before, but most curiously, it was made from a different kind of parchment. Unlike the rest, it didn't seem to come from sheep or goat hide. 
which was standard in Judea at the time, that detail sparked a revolutionary idea. What if the key to identifying the scroll's origins wasn't in the ink or the language, but in the DNA of the parchment itself? Could ancient biological traces still be hidden in these sacred scraps? Could the animals themselves tell us where these scrolls came from? The age of genetic archaeology had just begun. To unlock the secrets embedded in the scrolls, scientists turned to a field once thought impossible for texts this old. Ancient DNA analysis. Led by a multidisciplinary team of geneticists, historians, and conservationists from Israel, Sweden, and the United States, the project aimed to extract genetic material from the parchment itself. This meant isolating microscopic traces of animal DNA, fragments so degraded they were almost invisible, without damaging the scrolls. The process required clean rooms, custom-built tools, and extreme precision. Every sample was handled like a living relic. The team focused first on identifying the species of animals used to make the parchment. By comparing DNA sequences with known genomic databases, they could trace the hides back to sheep, goats, or even cows, and pinpoint regional differences in their genetic markers. Scrolls found in the same cave but made from different animals could suggest different scribes, different workshops, even different communities. And the results were surprising. Some scrolls found together in one cave came from animals raised hundreds of kilometers apart, implying that the manuscripts were brought together intentionally not written in the same place. This shattered the long-held theory that a single sect like the Essenes had produced all the scrolls. But this discovery raised an even deeper question. If the scrolls came from different regions and were hidden in the same caves, who collected them and why? Could it have been a desperate attempt to preserve sacred knowledge before an apocalyptic war? The DNA results were nothing short of groundbreaking. Out of the dozens of samples tested, scientists identified multiple genetic lineages, clear proof that the scrolls were created using hides from animals raised in vastly different regions of ancient Judea and beyond. Some scrolls were made from local sheep, typical of the Qumran region, but others bore the genetic signature of animals bred in the Galilee, Samaria, and even Transjordan, far outside the expected radius. This meant that the scrolls were not the product of a single isolated community, but rather a mosaic of texts written across different locations and somehow gathered together in a unified archive. Even more astonishing was the discovery of non-Judean DNA in a few fragments, possibly from parchment sourced through trade or written by Jewish communities in exile. This aligned with linguistic anomalies already noted by scholars. Some scrolls contained Greek influences, while others followed traditions found only in the Babylonian Jewish diaspora. It all pointed to one explosive conclusion. The Dead Sea Scrolls were not the work of one sect, but a collective effort to safeguard sacred knowledge during a time of chaos, war, and impending destruction and the timing of their burial was no coincidence. Carbon dating and historical cross-references revealed many scrolls were hidden shortly before the Roman siege of Jerusalem in 70 CE. The scrolls weren't just forgotten. They were intentionally concealed in a desperate act of preservation. But preserved for whom? And what hidden truths were deemed too dangerous to fall into enemy hands? Picture a desert on the brink of war. The year is 68 CE, and the Roman Empire is tightening its grip on Judea. Jerusalem is under siege, temples burn, and entire communities vanish into smoke. In the shadow of this destruction, a group of scribes, priests, or rebels, perhaps all three, gather what they can. Scrolls, parchments, sacred writings collected from across the land. Some are decades old others centuries. They load them onto mules, wrap them in linen, seal them in jars, and begin a dangerous journey east. Their destination, the
the caves of Qumran, deep in the Judean wilderness, where time itself seems to pause. There they stash the scrolls into natural crevices and man-made niches, some high above the desert floor, reachable only by rope or ladder. Each jar is placed with care, each fragment a message for the future. It wasn't just about survival, it was about memory, about safeguarding identity, belief, prophecy. These people weren't hiding treasure, they were hiding truth, and perhaps they believed someone someday would find it. Then they vanished. Whether killed, captured, or assimilated into history, their mission ended in silence. For nearly 2,000 years, the scrolls lay untouched, waiting for a boy chasing a lost goat to bring them back into the light. Thanks to ancient DNA, we now see the scrolls not as a single story, but a tapestry of traditions woven together during one of the most turbulent eras in Jewish history. But this revelation leads us to a chilling realization. If these texts were preserved with such urgency, what secrets were they trying to protect? The Dead Sea Scrolls are no longer silent. With the power of genetic science, we've uncovered a story far richer far deeper than imagined, a tale of resistance, exile, and sacred urgency. No longer can we view the scrolls as the product of a single sect or hidden monastery. They are echoes of a fractured world, stitched together by those who believed knowledge was worth preserving at all costs. And in the fragile DNA of animals long dead, we find the fingerprints of humans who fought to protect the essence of their culture, their faith, their vision of the divine. But perhaps the greatest revelation is not what was written, but what was chosen to be saved. Out of all the texts, prophecies, and laws, these were the ones hidden in caves. These were the messages meant for the future. Were they warnings? Blueprints for survival? or the last attempt to keep a crumbling world from being erased, today we're only beginning to understand what the scrolls truly represent. Each fragment decoded, each gene mapped, peels away the dust of history to reveal not just facts, but intentions, beliefs, fears, hopes. And as science continues to evolve, so too will our understanding of this extraordinary archive buried in stone and time. If this story fascinated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to explore more ancient mysteries unraveled by modern science. There's a whole world waiting beneath the surface, and we're just beginning to dig.